What's up, Shredheads? We are back on Charizard's path with some more Champions Path opening. And today, we're opening a big boy, elite, elite trainer box. And this is from the Travelling Man. It's one pair customer, and it cost 52 50 So we've opened a couple of these on the channel now. We have still yet to pull either of the Charizard cards. We've not pulled the Shiny Charizard or the Rainbow Charizard. The last time that I opened Champion's Path on the channel was probably on... No, it was worse than the very first time I opened packs on this channel, which was the um, Sword and Shield tin. <clears throat> the reason that this opening was worse is because this cost me 21 quid and the Sergeant Shieldton only cost me like 13 quid. Um, was absolute garbage and I think because I've been opening a lot of Hidden Fates on the channel lately, uh, I'm just a lot more excited by the Hidden Fates set compared to the Champion's Path. So going back to open... Uh, Going from opening um, the Hidden Fates tins to just a dub wall championship um, path box was very, very disappointing. The pulls were absolute garbage. But we're going to just do a quick recap of what you get in the Elite Trainer box in case we've got anyone who's never seen one of these openings before. You get this rule book. You get the Charizard save which we just removed. You get some dice and counters to play the game with. And then you get this divider, which divides everything up. We'll put this... Oh, we've got the sleeves there. The sleeves in Champions Path are really cool. and um, They're a really cool piece. So you get the sleeves. You get a TCG code for playing the game online. We're making a little bit of a mess here. You get the Charizard V promo, which has got to be one of the best promos Pokemon has ever released. That's really cool. Um, I think I've bought this is the third time, the third tin that I'm opening. So we've got plenty of them. We've got you get a stack of energy cards for obviously playing the game. You get these dividers. And you get the stack of booster packs, which is obviously what everybody is looking for um, in this set. So that is what we've got. That's what we're working with today. We're going to put the promo just back in there. We're going to put those there. And we're going to move this box out of the way just a little as we start today's opening we're going to bring some packs to hand actually in case we get any really yeah. nice pulls that we need to put into sleeves which hopefully we do so hopefully we will need to use them i'll just put them there just on standby so this is going to be the third champions path box uh, lead trainer box that we open on the channel and there's literally two cards <laughs> Everybody wants out of this set. There's two cards. Shreddy wants out of this set. It's the Rainbow Charizard and it is the Shiny V Charizard. There is also a Venusaur V I want, which is worthless. One, two, three, four. I say worthless. It's probably worth a couple of quid, if that. But it's a really nice card uh, that I would just like for my collection anyway. I won't get overly excited about it because, yeah, it's not, it's, like I say, it's not really worth much. But it's still a card that I want. It's still a card that I would like. But it's the Charizard that we're obviously looking for. So there is our, oh, there we go. <laughs> Absolute garbage to start with. Chubbish sums it up. I didn't even realise that was the hollow, so I was confused when I saw that card there. Um, so first pack down already. Now, opening Hidden Fates is, I think, kind of spoiled me because that set is just... Every card in that set is, like, pretty cool, whereas with this, with the um, Champion's Path, it's two Charizards. Um, 
the dub wall box that I opened recently legit pissed me off. Like, it was such a waste of money. One, two, three, four. And I know you're not always going to get good pulls with Pokemon, but it was the fact that I got two, so out of four packs, I got two duplicate trainers of one, like Hollow Card, and two duplicate Scrafties of the other. So it was just a garbage, garbage pack. Um, and it's kind of soured me a little bit. So there's our reverse holo. I am sick of seeing that bastard there. I'd say I'll give him away, but I probably just want I'll give him away, but I would I'd rather just put the bastard in the bin. But I will give him away. So comment down below and we'll be giving away some hollows, including that scrafty, um in today's video. We have to think of a question, which we will we'll keep watching for the question. Um because we will pause the question very shortly. And all you gotta do is Answer that question for your chance to win a vintage, we'll go with vintage for this one, a vintage mystery Pokemon card classic. One, two, three, four. Now these cards look funky. They've got some weird print lines on the back of them. I don't know if you can pick them up and see going all the way across there. So we've got one, two, three, four. It's not affected the, what would be the rare card, the hollow card. So hopefully we pull something good. But we'll think of a question to ask that, if you answer, will allow you to win a pack of Pokemon card classic cards. And as I was saying, I think Hidden Fates has spoiled me because that set is a really cool set. And there we go. Garbage again. So Shreddy was saying that he was going to open Elite Trainer Boxes till he pulls the Charizard, but at this rate, I think I'd probably rather sell the Champion's Path trainer boxes uh, and either cut my losses or um, put the money towards Infates products and open that instead. Because one, two, three, four, I've had a lot of fun opening Hidden Fates. I've opened, um, I'm filming these back to back, so I've just opened a dub wall box as we come straight onto the Elite Trainer box. We had four packs from the dub wall box, which were garbage. Um, and we've had, I think this is the fifth pack that we're opening in today's video. We've got the Weedle in the center scorch. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we've opened four, we're moving on to the fifth pack now. And after that dub wall box, I legit just felt like a waste of money. We're now opening um, packs here. And outside of the two Charizards, one, two, three, four, there's nothing really that is great, like for me personally in this set. Um, I pulled the gold cards and a reverse, not a reverse, a rainbow card from the first box out, which was cool, it was nice, but they weren't like, for me personally, it's not like the characters or cards that I was really... Oh, there we go. So we've got another gold card, which is the same gold card that I pulled in the first tin. So not too bad of a pull. Um, I can't complain if I'm pulling gold cards. So that's pretty good, I suppose. At least it'll be some money back because this will be up for sale as I already have one of them for my own collection. So I will help recoup some of the money from this tin. And one, two, three. So yeah, that was the halfway point. Uh, we've got five packs left. But yeah, I don't know if continuing opening these just to pull those two Charizards is a smart choice or if I would probably rather enjoy opening more Hidden Fates product again, more Hidden Fates um, cards because I've opened 24 of those now and even the tins where I've not had great pulls let's go one, two, three, four, even the tins where I've not had great pulls I've just had a lot of fun opening them whereas the dub wall uh, box has really put me in like just a negative mindset for these for this set and this uh, this elite trainer box hasn't been a great deal better to be honest and um, there's our reverse 
And that was the trainer we got from the dub wall. We got two of them and we got two scrap fees out of four packs. Um, which obviously isn't great. So let me know down below. Because that's, this could be the question that I ask uh, you guys. So if you want to win, um, if you want to win those hollow cards that uh, we pulled earlier, let me know down in the comments below. Should I continue opening Champions Path or should we sack this off? Should Shreddy sell? I can't even get into this, into this pack here. Should Shreddy sell the remaining Champions Path um, products that he's got, which at this stage is just the Elite Trainer boxes? Um, I think we've got still, let's have a count, we've got one there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we've got ten. One, two, three, four. So we've got ten Elite Trainer boxes. Uh, we've opened so far the two of the double boxes, the champion, sh the three gym, um, the three gym collections as well, and this will be the third elite trainer box that we're opening. So let me know down in the comments below: should we swap things up and just ditch champions path, accept that we're not going to get that Charizard? So we've only got three packs left. Except I'm not getting that Charizard and just move on to the back to Hidden Fates. The only problem with Hidden Fates at the moment is actually getting hold of products, even though Champions Path isn't easily available either. Um, one, two, three, four. Hidden Fates, I can't get any packs of whatsoever. Whereas with Champions Path, um, you can kind of readily get the gym collections and the dub wall boxes and stars it's just the elite trainer boxes that have sold out everywhere within fates there's literally nowhere you can get them for retail ba bastard again absolute shite on to two more packs um yeah so it's hard to get any of the Hidden Fates products at the minute at a retail price and I refuse to pay more than what the retail price is. Um, I'm not going to be paying yet. I'm definitely not paying more than the retail for one, two, three, four. I'm not paying more than retail for those cards. So here we go. We've got something at the back. I can see I accidentally saw something there so it's going to be at least a v max card so not a v max a v card sorry um so hidden fates is hard to get hold of and i can see why i can see why the hype has been so much for that set because there's been it's a great set as we pull our grapple locked v there which is another card that i've got already we've already pulled that and we move on to our last pack of the day now we we'll put the Kavana Reverse Hollow over there. And we move on to our last pack. So if I can get more Hidden Fates at retail, I will be buying more of them to open. If I can't get any more um, for the retail price, then I won't be opening any more on the channel. We're going to do a little tease here to see there's nothing in the pack. So we'll just go through. We won't even do the card trick. To finish off this one so we've got a full heel a scraggy a pear line we've got the machop i think that's not going to be the machamp no it is the zygrade as our last pack and there is a code for you guys to use on the game as well let me know what you pull down in the comments below so question for today guys is do we give up on champions path and try and get some more hidden fates and just open more hidden fates on the channel because i've just blew through 70 quid tonight opening those cards and this is what we've got for it right here in the recap that's the only decent card we've got in today's opening and then in the dub wall box this is what we got a reverse hollow scrafty two regular scrafties and two professor research cards so not a uh, bit of bad luck on ye old champions path but let me know what you want me to do down in the comments below guys until next time 
Remember that collecting ain't no gimmick. Hit the thumbs up button. It's a lifestyle.